Daniel here. I've got this great uh, Mediterranean plant here that does super well in our climate. It's Arbutus unedo. A lot of people say Arbutus unido, but this is actually a plant that's straight from Roman times. The Romans called these shrubs Arbutus, and they also called this particular one unedo, which means kind of strawberry fruit. This is sometimes called the strawberry tree in English because it's got these gorgeous red fruits right now in mid-October, and I'm going to eat one right now. Look at this. Mm, 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 mm. That's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. It's, it's mushy. They're, ripe, they're good. It was just perfectly ripe. Now, didn't you have a jam story, Cisco? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a ticket because, because I made fun of the meter person's jam they made out of those Out fruit. of this plant. That wasn't bad. I'm going to try another one. Oh, mm. Now, that this is one a, was really good. Yeah. Ripe. This is evergreen. This is a compact form of Arbutus unido, the strawberry bush. Full sun to part shade, any type of soil. It's hardy down at least to zero Fahrenheit, and that's about minus 15 Celsius. This is an ericaceous plant, meaning it's in the same family as rhododendrons and azaleas. And it's one of the rare examples of some edible fruits. Blueberries also are in that same thing. This is quite good. Notice how you get the blossoms and the various stages of fruit at the same time. So again, Arbutus unido, the strawberry tree, perfect for our Pacific Northwest gardens.